Weather Channel's Jim Cantori is an excitable guy. Okay, he really likes his job, and apparently nothing gets him more excited than a thunder uh, a story about a thunder snow. Is that right? Thunder snow? Yeah, thunder snow. I don't know what that is, but we're about to find out. Take a look at the video and his reaction. Oh, yes! 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 We got it, baby! We got it! We got it! Woo! Woo! We got it! Yes! Listen to that! Listen to that! Oh, baby! We just got it! I love that. I yeah. love that. Okay, so what he experienced there on tape is very, very rare, which is why he was so excited about it. But you can see how passionate he is about his job, which actually makes me interested in the story at hand. A lot of times when we do uh, stories about the mainstream media or local news, everyone is super robotic, and it doesn't seem like they have any emotions or feelings about what they do. So it's really a relief to see someone enjoy their job as much as Jim does. Now I want to open it up to the panel. Francis, what do you think? Make your point. Well, Jen just posted a story in the New York Times about this. It's about authenticity. He looks as if he really takes pride in his job. He's authentic and it makes me want to watch what he's doing and watch the weather, which is a great tactic, and it makes the job more enjoyable. And I, I'm like that on the way into work every day. No, you're not. But I swear really? to God, not, <laughs> not in my mind I am like that. I can't do it when I'm driving or I'll sing along to a song now and again. But on Monday mornings, I get to come in and play FIFA. Who else gets to do that? It's not a computer a lot of people game. Get so, like, to play FIFA. I'm very blessed for that, and I will do that dance and sing along in my head. All right. Hannah, what do you think? Make your point. I think everybody should strive to be enth this enthusiastic about their job. I love his like excitement and his passion, and I like I love when people are overexcited. That gets me. I love when people are super animated. So this to me was awesome. Mm. All right. So here's the question for the story: If you could trade places with anyone that has any profession for one week, who would it be, and what's the profession? Hannah, let me start with you. Beyonce. Oh, just damn. period. I want to be, I want to be on a stage. I want the wind blowing in my hair. I want to be on private yachts with Jay Z. I want it all, champagne all day, every day. All right, Francis. What about you? So I'm going to go with like a job that I maybe could get if someone's watching. Leonardo, <laughs> Leonardo DiCaprio's personal assistant. I want to know what goes you in. You want to be his assistant? Yeah, yeah. Because I don't want to be Leonardo DiCaprio. No, I wanna no. Be I want to be his assistant, assistant. because this is realistic. Because I can't be Leonardo DiCaprio, but I maybe be his assistant and be like. Leo, what do you want to do? And he'll be like, all right, we're going to have another private party. I need you to book these 60 girls. So I get to sit there and go, all right, you, you, no, you, you, and I book them <laughs> for the you're party. Not, but you don't get to fuck oh, the sexy No, girls. but I get to be there. I'm, I'm, I'm in a he nice just relationship. I just, get to be, I just get to be there. I'm trying to be realistic here. So there you have you it. You get to gawk at them, but I don't get to sleep with them. It sounds awesome. All um, right. Okay, so it's funny because we have like super ambitious to not so ambitious. <laughs> I have the least ambitious uh, job. I've talked about this on The Point before. I would trade places with a go-go dancer for one week. Yeah. <laughs> and like, it's kind of a similar thing to what you feel, Hannah, about kind of being in a power position and feeling sexy mm -hmm. and just kind of flaunting yourself. So that always appealed to me. I love the confidence of go-go dancers. So I would want to do it for a week just to see if I'd have the guts and the courage to do it. Because I think it does take a lot of courage to put yourself in that position. Anyway, but I want to know what you guys would want to do if you had the opportunity to do anything, any profession for a week straight. Share your stories in the comment below, comment section below, and we'll see you guys soon.